Hi guys, in this video we are going to learn about the set timeout and clear timeout functions in JavaScript. So I have taken the example of setting a reminder for dance. So let me start with the video. So I have this heading tag and then after I am interested to show here an image. So for example, I have an image of smiley.gif and above this I am going to write a button here and writing its label reminder and if you will see it on the output screen you will get something like this all right so then after i am also interested to show here a one more button which is like stop button all right so what i am going to do here is like uh, i will be clicking on reminder and then after uh, after some time uh, I should have something which could just remind me uh, to do the dance uh, dance right so what I will be doing here is I'm going to create a JavaScript here script tag inside of it uh, on click of this button I'm gonna call this function on click and here I am going to write here for example fun function all right so here is functions definition and inside of it I am going to write here set timeout and you can see its definition here we are going to mention for example seconds so 200 milliseconds means 2 seconds and inside of this parenthesis we are going to change the document dot get element by id so I am gonna give an id to this image so for example my image all right so what i will be doing here is i am going to change the source of this image so i need to mention here an id then dot src equals to dance dot gif gif all right so once i am clicking on fun but fun uh, once i am clicking on this button reminder then what should be done here this function would be called and after two seconds of button click this uh, image so image source would be changed so let's see so let me click on reminder so you can see that i am going uh, i am getting this specific uh, gif image which is just reminding me that uh, you need to dance right now so what I am interested here is I also wanted to uh, stop the reminder so how I will be doing that so I have another button here so I am gonna write here on click event and inside of it I can write clear in uh, clear timeout all right so I need to pass the ID uh, set timeout ID inside of clear timeout. So how I will be uh, writing here is I'm gonna declare a Timeout ID here and inside of it inside of it I'm gonna write here timeout ID and then going to assign the whole set timeout and this ID I'm going to put as a parameter of this one all right so you can see the syntax here i have this uh, these two buttons one is for reminder once i am clicking this button then fun function would be called and inside of it set timeout function would be executed after two seconds all right so what it will be doing is it will just uh, change the source of this image my image id so that would become dance.gif but what i gonna do here is before two seconds for example i have set the reminder that after two seconds uh, this uh, action should be done but sometimes we are not interested to do that so at that time we can stop that specific action before reaching that time so what i am gonna do here is i am going to refresh this and going to click on reminder then stop so you can see that the gif image for dance is not showing right now why because i have stopped that specific uh, set timeout i mean clear the clear the seconds so it will no, it will no more uh, modify the uh, source of the image so for example i am writing uh, clicking here again so after two seconds this is going to be displayed but if i am clicking over it 
and within two seconds means before two seconds i am clicking on stop so the inter the set timeout function would no more executing the uh, uh, statements which were inside of it because i have cleared the time interval uh, timeout uh, value all right so so one more thing i wanted to explain here is like how the source has been changed has been modified so i'm gonna inspect it and you can see that here we have this image so for example i'm gonna refresh this so you can see that this is smiley.gif so once i am clicking over reminder after two seconds this source would be modified so you can see that dance.gif has been modified so again i am clicking over it and if i am clicking on reminder and then clicking on stop then this image source would never be changed so again i am clicking after two seconds this would automatically be modified all right why because this function this set timeout function is going to be executing the statements inside of it uh, these are the few things that i have tried to explore with you so i think you got the basic understanding that how we can do something like this using set timeout so you can use this set timeout function in various other applications wherever you have needed so you can think about it that how we can utilize this functionality into your website all right so i think this was really interesting to uh, create a reminder for a specific time uh, period uh, which which is just crea creating a delay once we are uh, uh, clicking on it all right so for example we wanted to execute a specific function after a short period of time so we can select that time in time and then uh, uh, we start the execution and after uh, reaching that time uh, the specific action would be done all right so i hope that this was really fruitful for you so in the next video we will be learning something more important so see you in the next video